All right, questions? Uh, Coach, you know, a little bit of a slow start tonight. Um, number of turnovers in the first quarter, I think 11, and then I think 10 for the rest of the game combined, three in the second half. Um, you know, was that just kind of first game jitters or what they were doing, or how did you see that? Yeah, it was a lot of jitters. I mean, you can give credit to, to Vanderbilt with their defense, but a lot of those turnovers were just un necessary, off balance, bad decisions, kind of just being nervous. And uh, we settled down. We had 18 at halftime, 18 turnovers. And then we had three in the second half. And so we're a little bit better than we played in the first half. <clears throat> and then the other thing, we just couldn't quite get in a groove. It felt like all night we were right there getting ready to take a run offensively. And we just, we would miss back-to-back -back free throws, miss a, we get a breakaway, miss a layup, or we would miss an open three, and we just need some of those things for that momentum. And uh, it, I know they can do it. They do it in practice. Uh, we've done it in our scrimmages, in our closed scrimmages, and so I know that they can do that. We've just got to get to that comfortable place where they can do it when the lights are on and it's a different team. You know, I know moral victories only count so much, but those last three quarters, they only have scored by one. Well, that they continue to fight, and they, they they continue to fight. Last year, I mean, there's multiple times that we would be down last year, and we would put on a 17 point run, and come back and and win, or or make an overtime game. And so this team really can. I mean, we did we shot the ball. We didn't shoot the ball well. Let me just put it that way. Let's leave that adjective out. And we didn't shoot it well, and and we still scored 71 points. And we're really playing a different style game then we really play well. And so uh, I know this team can score. Uh, we've got to be better at defense without fouling. That's really, you know, I, I tell them all the time, it doesn't matter how hard you work if you foul, it erases all your hustle. And so we're just too, too quick to put our hands on people and instead of getting in a stance, staying in a stance and staying in front of that ball. You know, I really liked Jalen's poise on the offensive end all night. She's she's in a she faces a mismatch every night. We we honestly we need Odie and Gabby and Karis to step up and give us a little bit more defensive presence in there. Jalen's uh, got a mismatch and and she just really just through guts and will power. She just really plays hard in there and and, and rebounds uh, and so. But I was really proud of how poised she was on the offensive end, really staying within herself. Uh, you know, and, and she shot. I don't know. She was uh, what eight for fifteen from the field. Yeah. Yeah, and, and so I think she was 0 for 4 at halftime. And she made one in the halftime, but really it shows just maturity and growth and realizing where, where she's effective. And, but it wasn't even that. It was just her poise with the ball away from the basket um, and just trying to keep us, keep us moving. We got, we got enough game day jitters out there. You know, with uh, Harvison on their team, number 11, uh, something like she heard you guys tonight, 28 points. You know, what did you see that she was doing so well that made it so difficult on you guys? Well, I mean, she's a good shooter, period. And I don't want to take anything away from her ability to make shots because she shot a high percentage from the field. I forgot what, what it was, like seven for eight. Yeah, and some of those were layups. But what she really did well was make free throws because we just kept putting our hands on her. And she, was, she had 12 points at the free throw line. And so you don't put really good shooters at the free throw line. You don't put anybody. Bad shooters at the free throw line can hurt you. And you put a good shooter up there, they'll kill you. And so she got 12 of those 28 at the free throw line, and we've got to do a better job without fouling. How much did leaving some of those points at the line for you all hurt the chances? Yeah, you know, the, the points hurt mainly from momentum. It takes the air out of your sails when you got, you know, you got two free throws and you don't get anything. You come up empty. It just deflates you. And so we need just from momentum. I, I think at any moment, it could have exploded for us. It just did. I mean, we could have made a couple free throws, gotten a steal, hit a three. Next thing you know, we're in a four-point ball game instead of a eight, nine, ten-point ball game. And and so we we need that. Uh, it's not like we don't work on it in practice. So we work all the time on it. They came in and shot after the exhibition game, shot free throws. And so we've just got to get uh, focused at that free throw line, get com comfortable. But I was real proud of they continue to to fight. Like things weren't going our way. We were fouling too much. We, our three-point shooters weren't making threes. Nobody was making free throws. And we were turning the ball over too much early on. So nothing was really going our way.
except for hustle and effort and passion, and they kept playing hard. And that's really all you can ask. You know, we want to win this game. We could win this game, but you got to play well to beat good teams. And so uh, what I liked was that we continued to play hard the entire game. Off, and you go to Missouri and you have a week off to believe yeah. next game. Uh, is that a good thing for a young group, or would you rather just, you know? No, Jerry, we want to play games. We don't want to, we don't want to be, we, we, had to, we had to unschedule non-conference games. And so I'm going to leave it at that. And so, no, we want to play. And so we, we, we didn't want to, but we, did, we were trying to avoid uh, having 10, 14-day breaks, and so we tried to, schedule it out the best we could, uh, given the other team's schedules. And so uh, we're looking forward to going to Missouri and playing another really good SEC team. And, uh, you know, we're going to keep getting better. Um, I like this team. They play hard. Uh, we've just got to we just got to play better. That's just where we are. And I want to give a shout out to the student section. Like we had a lot of student athletes up there supporting these young ladies. And I know that, that our team goes to volleyball games and soccer games and, and, and they go to the men's basketball games. And so that's huge when you've got your fellow student athletes in the end zone cheering for you. And, and we're going to give them something to really get excited about. We're not going to be five for 22 from a three point line every night. There's going to be a night we're going to come out and we're going to be 12 for 22 from three point line, and it's going to be exciting in here. Anything else? Thanks, guys.